Hey guys, it's me, Signature Pumpkins here, and I'll be showing you how to make DIY yarn octopus. I got this idea from So Craftastic, so I guess shout out to her for giving me this idea. Thank you. So yeah, now continuing on with the video. You're going to need hot glue or Elmer's glue, a tennis ball, a pair of googly eyes, and some yarn. Now for the younger ones, you're going to need the thinner stuff, and for the older ones, you're going to need this, and the younger ones should be shorter, so use a notebook, and the bigger ones should be longer, so you can use, I guess, a book or anything. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, and a pair of scissors. So I'm making a doll out of this thin stuff. Or this is um, four, the other one is six, and you see it will say that on here. Four. So then you're just going to start to wrap it around your book. A, not 87 times, 50 something I think. You're going to wrap around 60 times and for the other ones you're going to wrap around 87 for the smaller. So I've wrapped it around 40 times, 20 to go and I'll be back. Now since I'm using the thin yarn I'm going to wrap this around 87 times. But if you're using the thick for a baby, you're going to wrap it around 60. So it doesn't really matter if it's an adult or a baby, you're still going to need the same amount. So when you're done with that, just cut the yarn at the bottom. And get a piece about 12 inches long. Stick it through here, pull it to the top, and just tie in multiple knots. After that's done, take it off, so you have something kind of like this. Then next, you're going to gather all the strings at the bottom, and then just cut. Okay, so now what you're going to do is cut another piece about 12 to 15 inches long and put that aside and get your tennis ball and put it right there. So then you're going to fold this over so it covers the tennis ball and you're going to securely get it and then just kind of fix it up and stuff. Okay, and you're going to hold this tightly and get your piece of string and just wrap it around and I'm just going to tie it super duper tight okay and remember to do multiple knots I do about four on each Okay, and then I just tighten it by splitting it in half, about half, and then just pulling. You can trim off excess, but it doesn't really bug me. So then you should have something that looks like this. So then you're going to split this in eight parts. And I guess you divide by two. So 60 divided by 2. But for this, it's 87 divided by 2. So you get about 43. So yeah, I guess. And then I guess you divide by 8 or 6 or something. I don't know. I'm going to go watch the video. Okay, so 2175. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to divide these sections into two, one with 43 and one with 44, and then I'll show you the rest later. And if you don't want to do that, just split it in half however you think is even enough. So I ended up splitting mine in a lot more than 40 something, or 20, I mean 40 something. And this one there is like 80 itself. Wait, that makes... 
Wow. Just wow. Yeah, there's going to be about 87 in each of them. Duh, because you cut them in half. Yeah, so 87 there will be in each. Or maybe 88 in the other, or 86 in one, and 87 in the other. How did I not think of that? That is so stupid of me. Okay, well, ha after you have yours divided in two, just tie one side off with a ponytail or clothespins or whatever. And then... Divide this into four equal sections. You don't have to count this, but if you want, you can. And I'll be back when that's done. So I did about 20 strands in each section and left one section with the rest. So now you're just going to divide this in three parts and start to braid it. And make sure to have string to tie the ends with. And just braid it, tie it, and repeat with the other side. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like, it looks something like this. This took forever to make, but it's done now. So next, you're gonna to want to warm up your glue gun, glue gun, glue gun. While you get all your tape off, and then get your supplies out. So I'll show you what you're gonna need now to get the eyes on. You're going to need your octopus, set of eyes, and a hot glue gun. Okay, so you're gonna get the back and get a tiny dot of hot glue and stick it on your octopus. Once you put the first one somewhere. You'll have to plan out where the other one goes on and keep an eye on a specific strand. Now I'm not going to film this because it's kind of hard to film, but I will film the after. Or you can put it on the octopus, which is easier for me. So the other one I'm planning to go about right there. 